A pivotal moment showcasing the progress in character animation and motion capture techniques emerged in The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers. At the forefront of this breakthrough was Joe Lettieri, the company's senior VFX supervisor and director. His curiosity centered around the intriguing challenge of breathing life into some fictional entities. The focal point of this endeavor became Gollum, a character that presented an ideal opportunity. A being almost human, endowed with dialogue, required to seamlessly interact with fellow actors within the same scenes. Leveraging a digital character crafted by Jason Schleifield and Bay Riot at Wada Digital, animators skillfully crafted Gollum's performance through a fusion of innovative techniques. This involved a hybrid approach, integrating motion capture data derived from actor Andy Serkis with the traditional animation methods of keyframing, which we all know. This meticulous process also encompassed the arduous task of digitally rotoscoping Circus image and seamlessly interchanging it with the digitally rendered incarnation of Gollum. But have you ever wondered about the cool tools that help characters like Gollum to exist in the first place? Creative industries grapple with substantial challenges, chief among them being constraints of time, external pressure, and rigid production pipelines. And the need for swift and interactive tools is paramount for animators seeking to effortlessly capture performances. However, in recent years, I think VFX artists and studios want more of a realistic performance as opposed to just speed. Don't get me wrong though, speed is good in everything. In fact, it is very important to prevent TV shows and movie productions from being super and uber expensive. But having a realistic performance is what you and I see at the end, and this is what matters. A common practice employed by various animation systems involves the use of shortcuts or what you can call cheats. These shortcuts manifest in techniques such as blend shape deformers or skin clusters, strategically utilized to simulate realistic skin movements. These methods, I would say, are instrumental in imbuing animated characters with lifelike motions. In an attempt to mimic subtleties of natural skin deformation during various movements that we can all see. And by incorporating these techniques in the animation process, VFX artists aim to achieve a level of realism that might be challenging to attain through traditional means. If you see a sci-fi or fantasy film filled out with many creatures and massive effects, chances are what a digital had a hand in making them. What I care is about quality and speed in their work, and they use tools that make the process smoother, giving artists extra time for their creative visions. What a digital researchers and tech team not only developed new software, but also revamped tools and techniques for previous films. Some of these innovations include methods to sculpt faces, defining muscles and skin textures, in addition to other stuff. The characters begin their journey in the modeling department, where a range of creatures are crafted as just 3D models in a virtual environment. But what makes the animation of these characters look realistic is the implementation of a really good tool that Wada developed called Tissue. Tissue is a plugin or tool that can be integrated with Autodesk Maya, and its main job is to simulate realistic movements of skin and muscles. It employs a distinctive methodology, delving into the intricacies of human anatomy from the inside out, which is truly impressive, especially at the time of creating it. 3D artists methodically construct a detailed skeleton, layering it with muscles and fat to capture the complexity of the human form. As the character engages in movement, Tissue dynamically computes how the anatomical framework would naturally respond to the dynamically moving physical world, and the outcome is a nuanced and genuine depiction of skin deformation, which is intricately influenced by the underlying anatomy. So, the seamless and natural movements of our skin and body is something we instinctively notice, with imperfections immediately catching our attention. This intrinsic link between movement and perception is the core philosophy behind the tissue software. 
Tishi recognizes that even in seemingly simple actions, such as wiggling a finger, there exists a complex interplay between muscle and skin. And it is this attention to detail that sets tissue apart from the rest of the other tools. From what I can see, Tissue transforms character animation by allowing you to craft biologically accurate models that faithfully replicate the intricate behaviors of muscle and skin. And it dynamically captures the nuanced movements of anatomical elements, exposed body parts of human beings or even beasts and monsters, which can help make them look more believable and establishes a new benchmark for realism in character animation in movies and video games. The interesting thing is that this precision seamlessly integrates with other simulation tools, like hair, fur, and other things such as cloth. Since tissue emerged, it had a prominent role in blockbuster films such as Avatar, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Prometheus, and The Hobbit. Notably in Avatar, tissue played a pivotal role in animating the Navi characters, capturing the subtle nuance of the alien anatomy especially with close-up footage where we can see a lot of details. And acknowledging this groundbreaking contribution, Tissue received the prestigious Scientific Technical Oscar in 2013. Subsequent update to the software went beyond solving technical limitations, introducing advanced features that elevated its capabilities over the years whether through enhanced algorithms, ensuring more accurate skin deformation, or streamlined integration with other animation tools as well. But one thing for sure, this innovative software made the lives of animators and VFX artists at Wada Digital much more easier. Unity the creators of the platform for developing and operating real-time 3D interactive content, especially video games, they have entered a definitive agreement with Wada to acquire their digital tools pipeline, technology, and engineering talent. This acquisition was kind of strategically designed to democratize what has exclusive visual effects tools, placing them in the hands of millions of creators and artists worldwide. The thing is, if you didn't know, what are digital tools are mostly proprietary tools which means no one has access to them unless you work for Wada Digital, so this could have been a great thing. But if you haven't heard, Unity recently ended their agreement with Wada, which is not so great of a news because this could have been a great deal, especially for 3D artists who don't have access for these tools, so we will wait and see what happens in the future. Interestingly enough, Unity also acquired Ziva Dynamics real-time technology, which empowers visual effects artists, animators, and content creators to achieve film quality character animation and deformation in real time using some tools that can allow you to do similar things to what tissue from Wada allows you to do. Ziva is particularly effective in animating soft tissues, including human faces and moving animals. The thing is, Ziva's utilization of machine learning for real-time character animation demonstrate a shift towards more accessible and efficient solutions for artists, and the acquisition of Wada Digital's assets by Unity further emphasizes that everyone is looking to acquire these tools because they see a lot of potential in them. And hopefully, Unity doesn't end their agreement with Ziva Dynamics, because so far, things are looking promising, as opposed to what happened with Wada Digital. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.